check out from Microsoft who will tell you so some word. Hi, no, I won't be saying much. Just say that we are very happy to be sponsoring the Startup API uh, competition and uh, we look forward to seeing some great things and we're always happy to support startups and see the great stuff they're doing. Midi? So we will begin by um, uh, Anatech for two minutes and we will uh, have a 12 startup like this. So show their products, show their API and see how they are really different. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Pierre-Henri from uh, Anatech. Alors, what we do, we are a quantitative portfolio management company. Uh, we try to democratize uh, the algorithmic uh, management of a portfolio for everyone. Uh, we tried uh, in the first time uh, to do it alone with a full website uh, integrated and uh, we realized uh, quickly it's uh, difficult uh, to do that alone with, uh, with not a lot of money. And we uh, choose to change and we build, built uh, an API for use our technology, back-end technology. So we provide that to uh, the company like uh, online brokerage. We have uh, uh, de we developed an API uh, for extract uh, extract uh, the composition of portfolio uh, hosted by uh, our partners. On the back end, we have uh, our technology who treat uh, each day uh, all the portfolio and uh, push the recommendation on the the portfolio of customer. So that's what we do. Uh, we have uh, developed a SOAP uh, API because uh, the, uh, on, uh, the banking uh, environment uh, are really on SOAP API. So uh, that's, that's what we do. Come uh, to ask me question after if you want. Thanks a lot. Bye. So I, I, I didn't say that Microsoft will offer, will offer uh, five Surface Pro uh, uh, tablets, but the, the rating will be made on applauses. So we will make it again. So Anatech. Okay. Okay, great. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm a co-founder of uh, Jelly Note. <laughs> the goal of Jelly Note is to facilitate music learning and practice. So to do that, we developed um, we developed a technology that enables to display uh, an interactive sheet music in the browser. So we, we can display sheet music, tabs. Uh, we also integrate covers that are synchronized to the, to the sheet music. And, uh, and we developed tools to like a guitar hero, but with real music. So that's what we do. Uh, so now let's talk about our API. Uh, basically, we can do everything uh, you can do on Jelly Note with our I API. So here is an example. So with our API, you can, of course, search for content. You can also upload for content, upload content uh, to publish it on Jelly Note. Um, so let's see our example. Uh, we make three API calls, and with these three API calls, you search for content. So in, uh, in the result, you can see you, you are typing Rolling Stones and you find directly a uh, sheet music of uh, Rolling Stone. So we search uh, with the uh, input, uh, with the uh, raw text. Uh, then we get the first result uh, that is a, re a return from the API. And the last call is to display the, the sheet music. So this call is very important. It will display the sheet music directly uh, in, the, in the browser. And uh, this API is open, and you can use it. Uh, you can already use it. Thank you. <laughs> Next one. So, hi everyone. Um, so what do we do at MongoPay? 
Uh, we've developed uh, an API to do payments for marketplaces, crowdfunding platforms, and mostly C2C payments, and that's all we do. Uh, we do it through our e-wallet uh, system, so you can create white label uh, e-wallets. We're kind of the, uh, the only one on the, on the market to uh, offer this kind of solution. And if you see the different merchant we have today, we have something like 100 merchant live uh, in Europe with our API and it's mostly and only uh, crowdfunding platforms like Ulule or marketplaces like uh, La Fourchette. Uh, how do we uh, create this API? So it's based on an e-money issuer license that was granted in December 2012. So it's exactly the same than PayPal and Amazon, uh, except it we're only a B2B payment solution. We do not have a, a Mongo Pay for B2C solutions. Uh, we're part of the Litchi Group, in case you did not know, that started in 2009 with Céline Lazort. And we've raised a uh, couple of uh, million to develop this uh, API and market it throughout uh, uh, Europe. Um, how is the API exactly working? Um, first, if you are um, a user, so you want to buy a product on a marketplace or participate to a crowdfunding project, you just pay with your credit card. We accept payments from anywhere in the world. And automatically, you get attributed a white label e-wallet, meaning e-wallet on the platform that you uh, participate. Um, the project owner at the end or uh, the seller on the marketplace receive the money on a secure e-wallet, and in between, the platform can take its fees on an escrow e-wallet. Okay, and so that's as simple. And uh, of course, um, we made it very developer friendly, so you can open your free uh, sandbox online. You go on mongopay.com and uh, ask me any question if you want to. Hi, technology there. Hello, everyone. So um, I'm uh, Emmanuel Javal, uh, chairman of Import.io. We basically help people build APIs. So we uh, start from the fact that there's a lot of data on the web, but it's trapped into HTML. It's uh, difficult. Uh, getting it is difficult. You can use an API, or you can write custom code. But that requires the talent of a developer, and a lot of time. We reckon between four hours and four days per API. Imagine if you could uh, turn any website into a spreadsheet or into an API in less than four minutes without writing any code. Basically, we help you structure the web. How does that work? Very simple. It's like a data browser. You go to a website where there is data. You select the first row of data, then a second one, the application will automatically define where all the data, all the rows of data are, and uh, will uh, uh, allow you to uh, build it into rows and columns, into a spreadsheet, and obviously over access it over an API automatically. A very quick example, we have many, many examples, but that's one, Hewlett-Packard, they sell laptops via channel partners uh, at a minimum uh, retail price. Uh, no further discounting is, is allowed, uh, but some of the resellers are naughty, and that creates a problem. Uh, they built uh, connectors, what we call connectors, basically APIs, uh, to all those uh, different uh, reseller uh, partners, and built it into a one API that they can now monitor all the prices of all the products from all the resellers in real time. And that's uh, just one example. Uh, Import.io is available. You can download it, you can try it out, and give us feedback. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Philippe from EverContact. So what we do as EverContact is very simple. We keep your address book or your CRM automatically updated. Every time you get an email, our system will identify the signature, extract contact information like phone number, postal address, and so on, and update your address book in Gmail, Google Apps, Outlook, Salesforce, wherever. This is a system which is already used by yeah, it's, uh, it advanced some by itself, okay? This is a that is already used by hundreds of thousands of users, and we're really happy to launch our API just here in Paris. So 
now we have an API where you can just submit any kind of text and we'll get you back all the contact information which is in this text. So if you're running a CRM, uh, customer relation company or so on, you can use it right now. Thank you. Hello everyone. Uh, please me for to my control. Uh, hello everyone. So uh, my name is Damien, and uh, I have uh, and I have to to tell you about my uh, my experience. Uh, so when uh, I want to go out uh, uh, to places, to different places, uh, the first thing. Uh, I need to know is uh, whether it is accessible or not for me. Uh, for example, I don't, uh, I don't really like if uh, there are steps, uh, but uh, I'm uh, interested to know uh, if uh, the, the place is full step uh, with no stair. I need to know if uh, the, the restroom uh, is wheelchair accessible. Uh, I need to know uh, the, the width uh, of the door to to check if I can go uh, if it's okay for my uh, wheelchair to get into uh, a place. So um, so I, th I thought that it would be wonderful that we could spread information about uh, accessible places to let people know where they can go. So the API uh, uh, we we develop is uh, um, uh, uh, allow big uh, platform with uh, places to precise the criteria, uh, the accessibility criteria. So there is no uh, a pictogram because it's not precise uh, enough because uh, the mobility problem uh, are really different one to, to another. So, um, so uh, now we can change the slide. Um, the, the API we we have is already working, uh, and uh, we I can show you um, uh, the next uh, slide with the so it's a Jack said uh, platform. So we have a iPhone and Android uh, uh, application and the platform. And we collect uh, a lot of information about accessibility. About accessibility, but the idea is to to go to other platform. So we have already uh, uh, 118 mil. It's like the yellow yellow pages, and uh, and they integrate the criteria, the accessibility criteria. Of Jack said, so uh, my, my dream is uh, tomorrow we can have uh, uh, other um, platform like um, like a trip advisor. Uh, I'm very modest, but, but uh, may, um, uh, we we never know. And uh, with the API, uh, you can show uh, accessibility data, but you can also uh, bring contribution. You can ask your, com your community to uh, to help to fill up uh, the criteria. So uh, I, I hope it will be used in many websites uh, like Lafourchette.com, uh, CityVox, Yelp. Uh, it's, uh, because uh, it's not just handicapped uh, people; it can be uh, elderly people, pregnant women. Uh, it can be uh, uh, many, many problems. So, uh, so if you know, if you have the information, then you can uh, go out without uh, the fear of bad surprise. Thank you.
So uh, hello. Uh, this time I will talk to you about music. Uh, so Tractor, Tractor, what is it? It's a social jukebox. Jukebox because in every event or party you can directly from your smartphone add and vote for your favorite songs. The next one that will be played is the one with the more votes. And it's social because you we use your Facebook and Twitter information to display your picture and your name whenever you take an action, add, vote, or post a message. But what is interesting is that you can search on every one of these online libraries and the streaming come from all these IP2. And it is possible thanks to our API that allows you with the same code base to connect, search, and stream from every one of these providers. So it's really great because when you create an app or website that stream music, you don't have to care about which provider your users are using. And it means that every one of your users can use your service. And uh, for the cocktail of tonight, you can uh, already add your songs to the playlist that we put in place that you can join with your browser on happydays.track.tl. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Edouard and I created uh, vroomvroom.fr. So maybe you know or maybe you don't know that in France it could be very difficult to get a driving license. For example, if you want to take the exam to get a driving license in Paris, you have 65% of chance of failure. Well, I tried three times and I was fed up with uh, failing, so I uh, created this website and it helps you to compare the driving school. So we took uh, the success rate of the 12,000 um, driving schools in France, and you can compare the, dr the success rate of each driving school. We had to hack the government for this data because it's not open data, but we succeeded. And uh, what I would like to share with you is that, uh, well, it's not <coughs> yet a an, an, uh, public API, it's private, but in fact, we are only two in the team, a back-end developer and myself, and I'm not a developer, I did a business school, so building an API was cool because I could start to learn coding and uh, integrate the data in the front-end. So creating an API was very useful for us to build the front-end and all the, um, all the website, in fact. And the second reason is that now we can share all of our data on different devices, so we are using it on a map, but we created also a widget. So if you want to uh, write an article about us, we can share you the widget and you can put the data about the driving schools on your website. And we're also putting it now on uh, applications. Thank you. Hi everyone, very happy to be here. Thanks to, uh, to Mehdi and, uh, and all the team to be, to, to be able to talk to you, uh, to you today. So despite of our name and what maybe you thought before, we are not a shipping solution for sushi through an API, no. We are uh, bringing uh, some other stuff for, not, not food, but for your business. In fact, we, uh, we, uh, we help startups and businesses to have good insight on, uh, on, uh, on their business metric. We are all using uh, the same uh, SaaS with the same APIs. What basically we are doing is to connect all the SaaS that you are using today uh, to, uh, to, to, to give you input on your business. So, for example, here you have an example for, we, we are able to connect your bank, we are able to connect your uh, cloud, you are able to connect your marketing SaaS, you are able to connect your sales, your hosting, and so on. So if you are a developer and you are working on a, a smart project which brings values to businesses and you want to, be, to, to use our API to be on, on Sushio, or on the other hand, if you want to use our data, don't hesitate, call us, talk to me, we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.
All right, everyone. My name is Gregory Monviel from Smart Notify. Thanks for being here. And what we do at Smart Notify is help you simplify communications. Uh, if you're anything like our customers and run a business, you know that we can run through slides very quickly. Um, now, if you're running a business, you will know that there's a challenge in communication because you have more people to talk to in different ways. And then now you also have to worry about like the device this gentleman there is wearing, the Google glasses. So you need to communicate with more people, more devices, and you have to keep track of everything. And the reason it's becoming a really big challenge is that you have many different channels. Now think for a minute about all the emails, SMS, phone calls, social that you're getting all day long. You know you're losing messages, but your audience is suffering through the same problems. And you only have two solutions. Either you communicate with them at the right time, through the right channel, and you're a hero to them, or they think you're a total loser and spammer. We don't want you to be losers or spammers, so we'd like you to check out what we do with Smart Notify. You make a call to our system, and then we use our algorithm to find the right channel to communicate at the right time with your audience. We already have a uh, few customers in the US. We're in private beta. We're part of the Microsoft Venture Program in Paris. And we're still working with French companies to push the system here. So if you're interested in sending and broadcasting the right message at the right time through the right channel to your audience, we invite you to take a look at us. And also, if you want to block your mother-in-law's uh, phone call and SMS, come and talk to, to me, because we do pretty good uh, inbound filtering as well. Thank you very much. You applause blocking your mother-in-law call, phone calls? No. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Julien Beranger. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Evergreen. So Evergreen is a digital currency uh, that was designed to build communities and um, uh, encourage collaboration and also to protect the environment. Uh, so every users of Evergreen directly contribute to uh, protect the rainforest. We actually are protecting uh, 5,000 square meters of the rainforest in Ecuador and Bolivia right now. Um, and it's also a payment system that is free, instant, and secure. And um, yeah, thank you. Hello, so I'm Nast. Uh, let me introduce you Algoia, a search API that developers can integrate in a few minutes. Um, but actually, uh, nothing's better than a quick demonstration uh, to give you an idea of the kind of experience we enable in your apps. So here I'm using the data from TV Showtime. TV Showtime uh, is an awesome social network about TV shows. I want to search for shows alongside the actors and their episodes. Indexing is just a matter of pushing the data as JSON to our servers. As soon as it is done, it's searchable in every attribute. With no prior configuration, I can even tolerate typos, like here with meet your mother matching met your mother. However, relevance is not yet perfect. For example, Game of Thrones, I would prefer to get the shows before the episodes of the other shows. So that's pretty easy. Let me just specify attributes I want searching by order of importance. Here, moving show names first. And here we go, Game of Thrones first. That's a single line of code. OK, so as you saw, we do uh, instant search from the first keystroke. The problem here is that with my D, I don't even know any of these shows. I would prefer to get popular shows first. OK, let's go. Here we go, Dexter first. And again, that's a single line of code. I just use the number of followers of the shows as my popularity indicator. So basically, with two lines of code, I was able to configure my search, getting instant search from the first keystroke, even tolerating typos in the prefixes, and combining relevance with popularity in a very explicit ranking. Try it out and discover all the other search features we have. 
and we deliver, uh, we provide API clients in the most famous uh, language and platforms. You can try it today. Thank you. So we have the winner. Zzz. We have the winners. We will go straight forward. The main goal, you have understood it, was to show that APIs are really in a really round, really wide range. Many services, payment, accessibility, CRM, uh, uh, car uh, learning, so many, many stuff. So I will let uh, Jakob just announce the, 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 the winners. And, uh, uh, and that's it. So. So b based on applause, uh, the, the five winners, and I hope you agree with me, I, I'm not completely sure about it, were well, then Jelly Note. Um, <laughs> Import IO. <laughs> Jacques said. Smart Notify. <laughs> and you should talk to your stepmother, but. And uh, Algolia as the last one. <laughs> Congratulations and have fun with this. Thank you and let's eat now. Thank you very much. <laughs>